Welcome back on into Fox 43 AM Live. Guys, just <laughs> look at this cute little guy, Toby, right here. We, of course, have Miss Amy Douglas with him as well. How are you guys doing this morning? Good, thank you. Yeah, so do you mind just telling me a little bit about Toby and, and uh, who he is for me this morning? Yep. So Toby is a golden doodle, <laughs> and he will be five in October okay. of this year. And he works with me two days a week at the Capper Foundation with the kids that come in on an outpatient basis. Okay, great. And, you know, I... As he, you know, before doing this, before doing therapy dog stuff, what else was he involved in? So he started being a therapy dog at about 10 weeks. Oh, wow. Old. So so he has, this has always been something that he's been training to do his yes. entire life. Yes. He, his first training was 10 weeks. Oh, my goodness. That is yeah. so interesting. So, I mean, what does he, you know, what kind of services do you guys offer with Mr. Toby here? Well, you know, he started kind of helping with transitions mm -hmm. right when he came. Um, some of our kiddos get nervous about coming down the hall or leaving mom and dad, and Toby was really good about just taking all that stress away um, and would help them get down to the therapy room and participate in therapy. Um, but now he's he's extended his resume a little bit. The longer he's there, he does all <laughs> kinds of fun stuff now. He's a hardworking guy. He yeah. is, he is. We have found more jobs for him. So now he's helping with feeding therapy. He's helping with kids that are working on things like throwing and catching. He'll go get the ball. He'll bring it back. Oh, cool. um, we even have an adult service yeah. um, person that comes for the day program that takes him out um, on a schedule and has taught him to follow a routine and keep a time schedule and um, develop his social skills as well. But um, even with the kids, I was saying earlier, he even helps with toothbrushing. How, how, how and, does he do that? Yeah. <laughs> so, and so that's just kind of something that kind of fell into place. But um, <laughs> a lot of the kiddos that we work with are adverse to having a toothbrush in their mouth. It just mm -hmm. really bothers them sensory wise. Of course, yeah. And it's really stressful. We bring out the toothbrush and they're like, I'm not having it. I don't want anything to do with it. So I'll give them the toothbrush so they have control over it. And they'll brush Toby's teeth. Mm -hmm. And Toby lets them for whatever reason. He doesn't mind. <laughs> I've never seen a dog that will let someone willingly brush his I know. teeth. He doesn't care. And so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, and then it just takes the stress away. It's yeah. no longer, you know, a, a bad thing, a stressful thing. And, and they, they'll get to laughing about it. And then pretty soon the toothbrush isn't so scary. Yeah, so they get to see, you know, hey, if Toby can do this and he can, you know, and he's perfectly fine and happy, I can do it too. Kind exactly. of mentality as well. Mm -hmm. Do you mind explaining specifically what he does with food as well? Sure. So um, some of the kids too, they don't they have trouble eating different textures and things like that and even touching the textures and um, I have some kiddos that don't like dry things and so I brought out some fruit loops and they're they don't want to have anything to do with it they don't want to touch it so I'll feed Toby a fruit loop well then they would like to feed Toby a fruit loop <laughs> so they will pick it up and feed it to him and then again they're laughing you know because he licked their fingers and he's yep. chomping it you know real loud and which makes them laugh and sometimes it's even helpful that he'll model chewing for yeah. kids that have a hard time chewing because he's over exaggerated, you know, when he chews even a, something as small as a Fruit Loop. Yeah, so. so it's kind of literally taking something that, you know, usually causes them stress and, and might upset them, but they're seeing, you know, you're feeding it to sweet little Toby right there. So they're right. laughing. Like you said, they're creating kind of a new connection in a sense to that yeah. food, a yeah. happier connection if so. Absolutely. Yeah. It, everything just kind of, it just becomes less stressful, more of a happy a happy, a happy thing yeah. yeah making it making it a good thing yeah and so you know you said you work with the capper two days a week to do that with toby uh you know what kind of services other you know what have you seen come out of those services you know have you guys seen a really big you know um success kind of in in, in um well, the even, people you work with even the kiddos that don't specifically work with toby will still use toby as a reward for them because they know about him they see him in the hallways and so he'll be a motivator for them to use after their therapy sessions. And so they'll come down and just see him and say hi to him, give him a treat, that kind of thing uh, after their sessions. And so he's used quite a bit just, you know, with, yeah. with lots of kids. And he likes to sometimes wander out into the lobby and even say hi to the parents. That oh are my out gosh, there. and I'm sure uh, if the parents are anything like me, they're very <laughs> excited by that too. So he's used not only to help those children kind of build new connections, but also as a reward, like you just said, to, you know, right. hey, they know they can see Toby when they finish with their therapy session or, or doing other things. And 
I mean, he is quite the reward. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's a cutie a, pie. He's a good boy. He he's real easy. We were talking uh, this morning how he'll wear sunglasses. You know, that'll get the kids laughing. He'll just sit and look <laughs> at him with his sunglasses on. We could dress him if we wanted to dress him. I have kiddos that don't want to comb their hair because mm -hmm. it, it bothers their head. And so we'll kind of use it like the toothbrush. We'll give them the comb, and then they can comb Toby's hair. and. Um, again, takes away all the stress. Yeah, and so I mean, if there's any parents out there that are watching and that particularly, you know, maybe need their own therapy dog or would mm -hmm. like to, you know, find out how they can help, you know, you or use Toby in some sort of way, you know, what would you say to them this morning? Toby went to uh, Camo dog training here in Topeka. It's up by Lake Shawnee. Okay. And so that's where he's done all of his training, and they're they're great. They offer even videos that you can watch at home, and their classes are really reasonably priced. So, yep, that's Wonderful. where we went. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, so I've, of course I can get that linked for people in our web story that I, I'll post after the show. And uh, you guys, if you're, if you're interested, of course, in, in using a therapy dog, is it something that you would recommend? I mean, I, based off of your expertise? Yes, yeah. yes, and I think the dogs love it too. Toby loves the kids. I mean, there's not a child out there that he doesn't want to go see and play with. So. Um, I think you get the you got the right breed of dog and the right personality and then it's it's a great fit. It's a match made in heaven, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Amy. And hey, thank you, Mr. Toby. Probably the most well-behaved dog Dane and I have ever had on the show. So, and look at his little cross leg over there. He is just the cutest thing. <laughs>